song is called Florida Evans Speaks to Black Wives of Reality TV. <laughs> Contrary to the show's title, we were often nowhere near good times. I struggled to keep my family's head above water after James would come home after every temporary layoff. I never flinched when he slammed the door. Knew he was just acting out what it felt like to have opportunity after opportunity leave him out in the cold. I endured to keep warmth in my home. Nurtured Michael's militancy, encouraged JJ's artistic expression, and made sure that Thelma knew she was as brilliant as she was beautiful. Our show was set in the projects. But I never intended to project classless imagery to our viewers. I wanted them to see blackness and womanhood for the complexity it is. I wanted them to see it as something real. So when you ladies claim that what, that what you're portraying is reality, that black women are actually entitled, bottle-throwing, catty, gold-digging, primal attention whores, it makes me feel like I'm buried inside of a laugh track. Like the jokes are on me, like y'all done flipped the script, like you're rewriting history, like you don't think that we deserve to be seen as something beautiful. My arrival to the small screen placed me at the intersection of Moms Mabley and Claire Huxtable. My skin, the dark shade of the moon, gap tooth smile, tightly called afro. I was the transformation from mammy to mother, servant to dignified leading lady. I spoke with conviction, love with authority, made pathways through poverty, battled chauvinism from Bookman and Alderman Davis, settled disputes with Walona face to face like real friends do, pinched Penny's cheeks to show her what loving hands felt like and kept the dreams of my children as my most valued possession. And let me tell you girls, it wasn't always easy. My real life alter ego Esther went to war with producers of the show who wanted my son's buffoonish antics to take center stage. When they refused to prioritize my family's dignity, I got ghosts like James did. I knew how well exploitation sells, but I also knew how far inspiration stretches. I'm sure they called me bitch more than y'all call yourselves, but I came back to complete the series, endured a little more shuck and jive, scratched and survived and cried and wailed, all in leaving something for you, something for us. So forgive me if I believe that you ladies in all your live action glory seem more like damn caricatures than any of your fictional predecessors see me and Aunt <clears throat> Viv and Harriet Winslow were all made in the image of real life women who identify themselves as we did. Y'all are just a damn shame and those damn ingrained stereotypes far exceed the 15 minutes of fame you're allotted. So whose story are you trying to sell? I spent seasons trying to convince America that there are layers to the black experience, that we, black women, or more than a full lip smile, full figured frame, and neck rolling sass. Y'all acting ass on TV for ratings and hashtags. Bravo. You made it to the bright lights. Those lights flicker and dimmer real quick. So what becomes of your soul network when the network decides that you're no longer interesting? Tell me, sisters, what does the person in the dressing room mirror say to you? And what do you say back to her to make all of this okay? Your script reads nothing like mine.